racetrack riding all day long. Do da, do da. We're in our new Turbo S and we are on the track. Racing through the dirt, look at all this dust. Is this what your car looks like when you leave the hotel? So what's going on? So much fun. I am getting ready for um, day two of this epic adventure. Day two. Day two. And what's going on over here? Uh, nothing. Talking about our trip yesterday. <laughs> um, Why do you sound guilty, Chels? I don't know. I felt really attacked. Hey. All right. Um, Here's what's going on. We're in our room. We're staying here two nights, no, so we don't have to unpack the We don't have to unpack the whole room. We live here now. We don't have to take our laundry or nothing. <laughs> whatever that means. We lie in the car so we can totally race. But, um, but like when you leave the hotel, is this what your car looks like? Let's see. <laughs> right? Probably everybody. Is this what your car looks like when you leave the hotel? <laughs> Did you see this? No. <clears throat> oh, if it doesn't, then you're doing something wrong. Right? All right. Take me down. Let me, no, don't take me down. Take <laughs> let me uh, grab a couple other things and we're going to go down and take a look at this car. We'll be back. Yeah. All right. We're going to go see if we can figure out what the deal is with this car. There's Rob, look. Hey. Let's zoom in on him. You guys got up, it's like noon. All right. Already been riding. Right. <laughs> yeah. But we're ready for White Castle. Yes, we are. Ah. All right, we're gonna take this thing down, downtown. Two dozen little sliders. Oh, right there, right here. Elevator, a car. I was telling everybody that if you leave the hotel and your car doesn't look like this, what's up? That's what everybody. You drove your car then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This we brought the four door, the the four door, not four seat uh, support vehicle. Yeah. And this is the support. Oh, let's get right there. I wonder. Uh, no, this two one 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 lobby. Oh, lobby. Lobby. You know, for a guy that used to live a half of his life in a hotel, you'd think. I guess I just don't care anymore. Alright. Going down. So this is where ideally our baby slept, uh, slept, slept nice and sound last night without any uh, interference. So, a dude I know mentioned I put a post on a couple of posts this morning on some on uh, Facebook and you know people are like oh did you change the belt did you fire so I finally edited the, the post to say I already changed the belt but somebody mentioned too much draw on the back on the electrical system and I said well you know I only have rugged and he goes believe it or not and this is someone I know and he's a mechanic he said believe it or not this is big D he said believe it or not I only had light bar pumper radios had the same issue, uh, turn the stuff off, no issue. So I'm thinking maybe just try no try. pumper today. It's worth a shot. The other thing is uh, if the primary is not torqued completely, uh, any weird clutch issues, it'll do weird stuff. Uh, I'm gonna pull a spare tire off, look for a plug, air filter, that kind of thing. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, emergency repair at the hotel in the desert. crazy that's a lot of dust for a brand new car yeah, it's all packing up down at the bottom I'd probably suggest that everybody check their new filter it's probably not a bad idea because <laughs> if ours is like that we're a second car back <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of dust yeah, good morning that. morning how's it going Good. Are you ready for day two of this epic adventure? We are ready. Me too. <laughs> we're, we're ready. We got a pretty pl uh, plugged air filter. If you can get to yours, yep. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't Check think it. it'd be a bad idea to knock it around a little bit. Poke some holes in it. <laughs> let it, let it yeah. a bit. I was thinking about maybe just running without ours. That probably, then won't, then won't, then won't, then won't start for Free air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, this happened. Check this out. Uh, ratchet strap got loose from in the car, wrapped around the axle. 
took all the coating off. Look at that. Pretty cool. I got a brand new axle right over there if I really if it bothers me that much. It's got a nice shiny spot on the axle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna see if we're gonna see what we got. It's Sunday morning, we're gonna have a little I come did. to Jesus okay. meeting. <laughs> Diver meeting. I spent you. What happened? <laughs> What'd I do? <laughs> I didn't know it was your mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> she paid me. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got. A, we only got about a 50 mile ride today. We're gonna do about uh, three or four destinations. Uh, first one we're gonna do is we're gonna get over towards the racetrack area. Was actually like part of the Mint 400, and we're gonna take that and we're gonna go towards Vegas. Um, it's just a destination. Nothing super special, but it's called Seven Midge Mountains. It's just a bunch of stacks of colorful rocks. We'll go over to the uh, Terrible Herbs where we have some White Castle. I heard some, somebody want a White Castle. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I already looked at the menu last yeah. night. It wondering. happens to be the largest gas station in the United States, I understand. Some like 99 gas pumps, 98, 98 gas pumps. We are getting ready to head out right now for day two of this epic adventure out here in Prim, Nevada. We got uh, the kiddos with us right there and trip to Can Am. We got all of our peeps. There is, uh, there's the Horners, Ron and Debbie. They bought their new Turbo S2 seat right in front of us. It's a little dirtier than it was yesterday, I might say. Ours is probably a little bit, barely dirty. We got our Jenga uh, game pieced together in the back. We were, had some issues yesterday. We ran into, we had a couple of cars go, they don't separate. We had an issue with a, uh, the going into limp mode. We were getting a check engine light and we couldn't, it was like, we could only do half throttle. Uh, when you shut the car off and let it kind of do its thing, it would reset, the code would go away, the engine would, you know, engine, check engine would clear. Let's, let's be safe first. But right now I think we're doing, we're going to go to Mint 400 and we're going to race car driver. Yep. 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 Yeah, we're going to be on part of the track right now. Look at this, guys. Riding all day long, doo da, doo da. We're in our new Turbo S and we are on the track. Racing through the dirt, look at all this dust. I love off roading. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I don't have any words that rhyme. Wow! Let's check back there if you could see anything. Probably not. So let's just look ahead of us. 
clean the lens. Yeah, let's point it at you just so that uh, <laughs> we don't have dusty lens. Oh my gosh, how do you like this? This is fun. I wish we had this in our yard. Right. This is how much property we need. Pace it. Look at it right now so you can get an idea of how much piece of land we need to buy. So when you're watching people hit this wrench track and it looks all smooth and stuff on video, it's not. Nothing smooth in the off-road world. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're on firm. We just hit a button and now we're on firm, guys. See that? This is the benefit of a turbo... We did a Polaris Razor Turbo S 4 seat. If you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that behind us is our, our first... Love, that's trip. our 2017 Can-Am Maverick X3 RS, all tuned up on Evo, got MTS off-road shocks. This car is bone stock, except for the cage, and we added our rugged radio setup, which you see here, pumpers and all. Um, and uh, we are testing it out. This is the first ride, shakedown over 300 miles. Second place, start finish line. What? Second place, start finish line. Okay, tabletop clean if you want to hit a hard. What? Why do you snore? DJ, don't hit it hard. Hey, don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. Don't hit it hard at us either. I'm not. Okay. And that was that. We're not doing it. We're not hitting it hard because we already had some issues and we don't know this car yet. We don't know it well enough. So here's lesson one. Don't do dumb stuff just because you feel like you're pressured to. Not that these, we don't you know. You know, fun. <laughs> Damn it. I want to get sideways right there. I don't know this is auto. God! Yeah, so we are, uh, this is our life. This is the kind of life we get to live. I would say lucky us, but, you know, the harder you work, the luckier you are. Hey, work. you're on the corn track. The corn track? Look at that stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> I know, me neither. Oh, I know, it looks like it's a lot more. Oh, there's a mud puddle. Don't go through it. Oh, it's not mud, is it? We don't do mud, people, in case you're wondering why it's not at all for Because we don't have enough money to keep somebody to just clean it all the time. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. <laughs> How fun is it? This is awesome. We only got half bottle, but maybe not even half on the seat. Alright guys, we just did a, an off-road race and we went. Oh, uh, this is badass. I think we're driving through a giant dry lake bed. When the dinosaurs were around, this is where they lived. And they drank water here. And they went swimming and whatnot. And now it's an off-road haven. <laughs> 